steal the hides off of all your prinnies and ruin their lives! Sacrificing others to attain your own happiness? How vile and shallow! A darker evilness seems to reign over human souls than a demon's. Yes. With their prideless minds, they're probably even more of a threat than we are. Then, as a Prinny instructor, I must straighten you out. I shall pound Prinny pride into your heads through lessons of fear and punishment. <laughs> Are you trying to threaten me or something? Sorry, but I already know that this is all just a dream. What? Are you saying that we've been in your dream this whole time? Please don't be so gullible, my lord. She's simply ignorant. This lass is a dead human soul. Through denial of her own death, she has become delusional. Wrong, mister! Even if I were dead, I'd be sent to heaven, not to hell or whatever you call this place. I didn't do anything wrong to deserve this. Why would a ninth grader die anyway? If this isn't heaven, then it can't be real. If this isn't real, then it must be a dream. How's that? It's a flawless theory. Right. It's airtight. My lord, do not fall victim to her nonsense. Please develop the skill to doubt people. That lass is an ignorant, illiterate human soul who can't even admit she died. She even failed to become a prinny. Then this is perfect. My lessons will be even more worthwhile. Hm. You better watch your attitude. Don't forget that you're in my dream. As long as you and the Prinny still exist, my nightmare will never come to an end. This is war. A war to rid my dream of all demons and make it more fantastical and girly. A battle for freedom and youth. Yeah, um, you don't make dreams girly by threatening to beat people up with a baseball bat. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, green tiles, bunch of zombies, and that's no ranged attack. So you have to get up close and personal to hit. And on the left side, we got HP SP switch. Basically it means when you hit someone, you do damage to their SP instead of their HP. And if their SP runs out, they die. Pretty neat, huh? There. So I actually just thought of a really good idea f uh, for what to do during these uh, commentaries. Since there's only so much I can usually um, comment on. But I figured, I since I have the guide, I'll take advantage. And um, I figured... Each new episode, I would read the uh, description for one of the character classes. You know, just for fun. So, um, the first one in the guide is, let's see, uh, the warrior, the male warrior. So here's the description. Warriors are available from the beginning of the game, but that doesn't limit their utility. These heavy damage dealers are always going to be a valuable, po valuable part of your campaign. Warriors with axes are extremely skilled single target killers. Warriors with swords offer more area of effect options. Spears are often used by other melee troops, so they're chosen less often. Wild Cry and Heavy Smash, his abilities, make a warrior into a superb boss killer. They're used near the beginning of long combos to help set up other characters for increased damage. This class has has more than just damage. They're also quite rugged. As such, you can leave them outside of, of base panels uh, during most rounds without fear of them being killed by lighter enemy attacks. The combination of high armor aptitude and HP assists with this. Um, how to unlock? Unlo uh, you start with it, so you don't have to worry about that. Weapon portes. Swords, spears, and axes. That means um, he will naturally be able to learn those uh, skills for those kinds of weapons. You can use any weapon, but if you want to teach him skills, you'd have to find those elsewhere. Uh, let's see. Resistances. 0% fire resistance, 0% wind, and negative 50 ice resistance, so he's weak to ice. 
uh, basic aptitudes for the fighter class. HP, 110. So, like I said, the HP aptitude, aptitude is... If it's 110, then you will get 110% times the defense bonus of your armor. SP, 70. Attack, 120. Not bad for a starter. Defense, 120. Intelligence, 70. Yeah, you're not going to use magic with these guys. Resistance, 90. Hit, 100. And speed, 80. And that's for the fighter. And like I said, every generic class has six tiers. The first tier is the fighter. Then there's the warrior, the destroyer, the gladiator, the warlord, and the battle master. And let me tell you, battle master is kick ass. Um, to get each class, you have to get to a certain level in each tier. For example, for the to unlock the warrior, the second tier, you have to level up your fighter to level 15, and then you can reincarnate. Afterwards, to unlock the third tier, destroyer, you have to level up a warrior, the second tier, up to level 40. And then it goes up and up and up each time. 15, 40, 80, 160, 320. But let me tell you the Battle Master's aptitudes, because they're crazy. HP, 135%. Yeah. yeah, that's up 25 from the date from the base. SP 80, attack 145. Yeah, defense 145, intelligence 80, resistance 100, hit 125 huh. and speed 90. His base ability Wild Cry increases stats by 20% for each adjacent Not enemy bad. unit. So that's why you like axes, where you get up close and personal, because your stats go up the closer, <laughs> the more in the heat of battle you are. So if there are four enemies on all sides of you, which is the maximum, then uh, your stats go up by 80%. Isn't that nice? His um, second ability, Armory Master, Armor Mastery, um, costs a thousand mana to purchase, and you can learn it at level uh, level one. Easy. Equipment aptitude for HP and defense is increased by 30%. That makes you a certifiable tank. Uh, highly recommended you get that if you're going to use your warrior, and you should because they're they're good. Uh, his next one, energy slash, 5,000 mana. You must be tier three or above to purchase it. 10% of your current SP is added to attack when a sword is equipped. Um, not really that useful since you have a low SP aptitude anyway, so you're not going to get much of a bonus, not to mention, um, I mean, swords are good, and you can get up close, but for the amount of damage you're doing, you probably want to pick an axe instead. And the last one, Heavy Smash, you have to be tier 5 or above, it costs 30,000 mana to buy. And 30% of your base defense is added to attack when an axe is equipped. That is great. So if you think about it, your base defense is... Yeah, anything that increases your attack is fantastic. And that is the male warrior. If you're going to play this game, they... Don't be surprised if they end up doing some of the highest physical damage in the game. He's got great abilities, and he, you know, he takes hits like a champ up close. Just keep him away from magic users, and you should be good. Yeah! So I destroyed the geo panels here simply for, uh, simply to um, increase my bonus meter and get rid of the annoying effects. And there you have it, chapter 2-2. Two, two. <sighs> You're just another side character in my dream. You're supposed to fall down and die now! Enough of your nonsense. Well, that's probably pointless to tell someone who thinks she's in a dream. <laughs> what a nuisance. Hey, lass! Why aren't you fighting, especially since you're the one who declared war on us? 
Are you one of those who create war and then just stand on the sidelines and watch the whole time? Sh shut up! A boss character never fights until the end! That's common sense! Seems like that lass really does believe she's in a dream. She has no idea that she's being used by the Corruptor Mint. This is precisely why humans are... Are you bringing up that woman again? It seems like you'll never let that go. Of course I'm talking about her. The promise you made to that woman is the reason we fell to Hades. Is someone talking about me behind my back? I don't care. No matter what anyone says about me, I will follow through with this. Until I collect the required amount, I will not return to Celestia, Lady Archangel.